Are you sure? Come here, come. Go, 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 so there's no need for us to shout. You, you wanna have a, you wanna let's have a calm conversation. Calm conversation about beating women. Let's do a calm conversation. Yeah. Okay. So the Quran is the equivalent of the New Testament for Muslims. We Christians have the Old Testament and the New Testament because we have what's called a covenant system. A covenant system is that God makes different agreements at different points in time. The final agreement is made in the new covenant. So we're talking about beating women. Now, let us just look at what the Quran says with regards to beating women. Oh, okay. Do you want to show it? 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 Do you want to show Sura 4, where has he got? Be patient with the police, they're just doing their job. Says. Now, Mr. Brown, shall we do this timed? Okay, so we've agreed we're not going to do it timed. So Mr. Brown's going to let me finish my well, points. We'll moderate. And then we'll Mr. Brown is going to uh, let him do his points. We'll decide from you if you've heard too much from one or the others. Okay, so guys, you've got to understand the comparisons that are going to be made. Christians believe in a covenant system that has old covenant and new covenant texts. So Mr. Brown has to show me in the New Testament something equivalent to what you are about to read. And this is what it says in the Quran, which is the equivalent of the New Testament to the Muslims. It says this, men are the protectors and maintainers of women because Allah has made one of them to excel the other. How does that make you feel, ladies? Allah has made the men to excel you. Now it goes on to say, and because they spend in support for them from their means, therefore the righteous women 
are devoutly obedient to Allah and their husbands and guard in their husband's abstinence what Allah orders them to guard. As to those women on whose part you see ill conduct, other translations have it suspect ill conduct. It says admonish them first, refuse to share their beds, but if they continue, strike them. Strike them. The word lightly does not appear in the Quran. The word miswak with a stick does not appear in the Quran. It simply says to beat your wives on the suspicion of ill conduct. Now, ladies and gentlemen, by contrast, and I'm landing so Mr. Brown can take over, we Christians believe that men and women are both made in the image of God, each one of them equal in dignity. Men do not excel women and women do not excel men, but each, according to their own natures and abilities, are equal but different. Christian men, there is nothing in Scripture that permits us to beat our women or commands us to do so. But the Quran is giving a command. By contrast, we Christian men are commanded to love our wives as Christ loved the church, which means we are to give our lives in service to our women. So that is your choice. Do you want to follow the commands of Muhammad or do you want to follow the teachings of the apostles? Over to you. Very much. Right. Uh, Bob uh, gave me a criteria which I would not follow because Bob uh, believes. Speak up, in, Bob no. believes in the old uh, God of the Old Testament as well as the God of the New Testament. I believe they're all in one. So whatever the Old Testament says is still the same God and it's still valid, right? And Bob wants to say the Quran says that how uh, the Quran orders the uh, uh, legitimacy to beat women or your wives. It doesn't. It, gave you, it gives you a, it gives you a, um, basically what the Quran say, what, what Bob said, the Quran says that you can hit your wife, but then when you, you have to look at the context and the context of what the prophet said, how you should do it, how you should conduct it. And yes, when you go to have this, you do find the word miswak. And miswak is the same uh, size of a pencil. And then the Hanifs also say that you can't uh, leave any bruises or marks on their faces. So, but. Well done, Mr. Brown. So you can beat your wife. How do you feel, women? No team fighters. No team fighters. Sorry, he's quite right, Mr. Brown. He's quite right. He's quite right. He's quite right.